Okay, so talking about even versus odd. An even function or an odd function. And don't forget the neither. The neither is important too. Now this is very closely related. It's related to um, when we did symmetry. You guys remember doing symmetry? I love what I drew for table four over there. So I'm going to show you guys what I drew for table four. In symmetry, you guys had three different tests. You had a test where you plug in a negative x. You had a test where you plug in a negative y. And then you had a test where you plug in a negative x and a negative y. Right? Do you guys remember this? Yeah. Okay, if you plug in a negative x and you get the same like thing, like you plug in negative x and it doesn't change anything, you know that this had y-axis of symmetry. You guys remember that? Uh, when you plug in negative y, and if you got the same thing, then you knew that this was, um, <clears throat> what was it, uh, x-axis of symmetry. Can you have its origin of symmetry if you don't have y? Like, ooh, ooh. Y well, here, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, and then if you plugged in both of these as negatives, and you got the same thing that you started with, then you knew that you had origin of symmetry. Okay, the ones that we actually care about right now when we're talking about odd and even, we care about this test and this test. And you know what's funny is that both of these tests, you could have just plugged in negative x to see what you got. If you plug in negative x, we call this a negative x test. I don't know if that's academic or not, but that's what I'm calling it. It's a negative x test. You plug in negative x and let's see, let's see what happens. If I plug in negative x <clears throat> to a function and I get the same thing, like... Like you simplify it and it's actually the same thing as what you started with, which is what happens right here. Uh, when you plug in negative x and you get y, you get the same thing, like it doesn't change. The y function, it stays the same. Then uh, this one's even, this is an even function. Well, how's that different from the symmetry? It's not, this is actually the same thing. It means the same thing. If you plug in negative x in, you can find out if you have y axis of symmetry or if it's an even function. You guys cop copy that, yeah? yeah. Okay, and then look at this guy. If we plug in negative x, ooh, -hoo, we plug in negative x and we get what's our result? Oh, look at that. A negative y, right? The opposite of what we started with. If you end up with the opposite of what you started with, and that is an even function. Oh, I'm sorry, an odd function. Totally ruined that punchline. <laughs> it is an odd function. Okay, so an odd function is also has origin of symmetry. It's also symmetrical about the origin. You guys all following? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the negative x test um, also uh, tells you this stuff. And what if it's nothing? What if you plug in negative x and you have a totally different <coughs> result? One changes, the other one stays the same, which would be neither. Yeah. yeah, this one would be the neither. Okay, this is this should be obvious. If you don't get the same thing and you don't get the op exact opposite, now remember what opposite means? It just means change the sign. If you don't get one of those, then it's neither. And that is how you find out if a function is even or odd.